Hi everyone, thanks again for tuning into my channel. This is Spring Porter with Spring Solutions LLC. In this video, I'm going to be providing you with a chart with more detailed information about the processing time, uh, the payout types, and the level of difficulty uh, per district. And these are the districts that I've gotten deals in so far. I do plan on trying to get a deal in each district. Um, of course, that's going to be difficult, but as I get into new districts, um, I am going to be adding to this list or maybe just come back and do an additional chart so that you can see what it was like for me working in those areas. So the first thing on my list, and I apologize in advance to you, I'm going to be turning my head because here is, you know, my screen is on this side. So the first one is the Eastern District of Virginia. I have gotten several deals from there. Please remember that this district uh, does not work with third parties. You do have to be an attorney or the client who's getting the money back. So in this district, you are providing a service to the client where you're giving them the documents and in exchange, they're giving you money. So um, even though it is a little bit strange and difficult uh, for someone new trying to work there and understand it, the processing time is actually pretty quick. It's four to five weeks that the client can expect a check. Um, hopefully you would have gotten your payment before then, um, or you can get it on the back end. So working there is actually pretty easy. The check does go to the client. Um, and again, they can pay you before or after. The level of difficulty, I'm going to say three. Uh, one being the really easiest and 10 being the most difficult. I'm going to say three only for the fact that you have to have a lawyer. Uh, and it's a little bit different because you're getting paid on the back end. And also, sometimes you have to check on... I'm sorry, I just wanted to clarify that on the Eastern District of Virginia. That's just one of the requirements to have a lawyer, but you don't need one uh, if you were just going to be doing the paperwork for the client and they're going to be doing everything else. You can always contract a client out and have them do all of your uh, Eastern of District uh, of Virginia cases if you like, but just keep in mind the amount of the claim is going to be have to be worth it so that everybody can get a fair amount uh, lawyers are expensive. They're probably going to charge you a lot. Um, but again, that's something that you can negotiate. The client to make sure that they are mailing in the documents properly. It is pretty easy to work in that district. So as long as you're, again, following my instructions in the course for the BK hack. Um, the second one on here is the Eastern District of Louisiana. Um, four to five weeks. It was pretty simple working there. The check came directly to me, not care of, not to my client. It went to me. Uh, and that was pretty easy. I'm going to say that was one. The Middle District of Georgia, um, so we have another southern state, three to four weeks. That was really easy. They filed it on time. Um, and I got an EFT payment sent to me. Um, and again, the level of difficulty, I'm going to say one for that. Um, the next one down is the Western District of Missouri. I've gotten a few deals from there. And again, I've told you that that one is probably the fastest, I think. Two to three weeks is pretty quick check came to me. I didn't get an EFT, but the check did come to me. It had my name on it only. It didn't have the client's name. Um, and that I would say that that's a three only because there is an additional form that you have to do that doesn't follow the standard of all the other, you know, districts that follow the original rules. So, and again, that uh, district is located in the course where I added an amended video to show you what you have to do, but it is still pretty easy and it's pretty quick. The next one after that is the Middle District of Alabama. That is extremely slow, as I mentioned to you before, eight to 10 weeks on average. I didn't have any issues with the documentation being filed in or something missing, but it, they follow, they have really easy documents to file. Um, but again, it just, they take forever to just review it and then put it onto the case search. So it takes a long time for them to process it. But even though they do process it, at least you get the check directly to you. Um, you don't have to uh, worry about it going to the client first. So because of that, I'm going to give it a two. It's really easy. You're just going to be waiting. Uh, Massachusetts. I've talked about this in previous videos. I think I have three videos talking about the state of Massachusetts. Uh, eight to 10 weeks for me, only because I had a hang up with the type of contract that I was using, that this district doesn't really like it. All the other districts, I didn't have a problem using it. And that's why for me, it took eight to 10 weeks. I do believe that this is probably one, as long as you have the contract that they like, you could probably get it maybe within four to five weeks. So this took me eight to 10 weeks. But for you, you probably won't have to because again, I had to have a hearing and to try to sort everything out. Hearings are usually not necessary here. So because of that, I'm going to say it's a six and the check comes to you in care of your client. So that is a level of difficulty. If you are in an area where you cannot find a, um, a bank that accepts third party checks, 
I still was able to deposit them because again, I have M&T, I'm on the East Coast and my bank allows it. So, but for most people, I think that would probably be a challenge. So I'm gonna say a six. The Northern District of Ohio moving down uh, four to five weeks, pretty easy to work there. Got an EFT payment. And so the level of difficulty is one that was pretty easy. And then I found one in the Southern District of Ohio um, four to five weeks, again, pretty quick, but they didn't send an electronic fund transfer. They sent a check, but again, it came to me. And so that's fine. It was just a, a one. So Ohio overall, pretty easy to work in. The next one down, Connecticut. So Connecticut, uh, the next one down, about five to six weeks, uh, the check came directly to me. Um, their documents are pretty standard. Um, so that's about a one. It takes a little bit more time compared to the ones that are like four to five weeks. You may have an extra week. Um, New Jersey was pretty uh, smooth. Four to five weeks um, to process it. Um, an electronic fund transfer. So that goes right to your bank account, which is so nice. And again, that level of difficulty is a one. Again, the ones that I'm showing a one on are pretty easy. Their documents are pretty standard and they don't really deviate from the general rules. Um, the Northern District of Georgia... That one was about four to five weeks. Um, the check came directly to me, and so that was a one. That's pretty easy. The Southern District of Alabama, uh, four to five weeks, it was also an EFT. And again, that was a one that was pretty easy. The Northern District of Illinois, um, remember I had that hearing issue, um, but I think without the issue, it probably would have been really a lot faster. So four to five weeks, I think mine originally took a little bit longer, maybe sort of closer to seven weeks because I ran into that hiccup with the form. So I've already given you that information. So if you're doing one in this district, it should take you about four to five weeks from the time of processing to actually getting a payment. And again, they do send an EFT payment in that district. So that's nice. The level of difficulty, I'm going to say a five. Um, if you're someone who is, well, for me, it was like a five in the beginning because I was new to it. But when you're doing this, hopefully it will be easier because I've given you that knowledge. Um, hopefully you won't have to struggle to get a deal in this district once you've found a client to work with. Um, here's another one I don't think I mentioned. There's someone here that maybe I didn't mention on my um, YouTube channel. I got a small deal in the Western District of Kentucky. This was also utilizing the BK hack method because in this district, you actually have to be an attorney again, or you can be the client. And so that's similar to the Eastern District of Virginia. Um, and again, this processing and these forms that I used are also in the BK hack method for this district. Um, the check was sent directly to the client because again, they don't work with third parties. Um, the level of difficulty is a three only because again, you have to sometimes follow up with the client and check on the docket to make sure that they followed everything that they were supposed to. All right, so I hope that this video is helpful. It's giving you a little bit more insight, things that you can't always find on the instruction packets or on the websites to the bankruptcy courts. Um, and again, this is basically based on my experiences for the turnaround time. Keep in mind, if you are missing things, maybe you forgot an ID or you forget certain documents, that's going to add to your processing time. This is just overall without any issues. Um, this is about how long it will take for you. Um, and again, the payout type is pretty standard. Some districts don't even have that information on their website. Some of them, they'll, they will readily say, oh, uh, the check only goes to this person or only that person. And some, they don't tell you you have to call. Um, so, but I'm giving you a snapshot of it for right now, as of today's date, this is when I'm doing it. There haven't been any changes to this. Keep in mind the processes for unclaimed funds can change and vary in different states. They may decide soon that, hey, you don't need this form or the process is going to take longer or you may need a hearing. Things can change at any moment. But for right now, this is what it was like for me to work in these districts. So I hope that this is helpful. I will continue to add on to my list of new places that I'm trying to get deals in. And also I will come back um, when the time is necessary to, to give you a new updated list. I hope that this is helpful. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. If you're interested in the BK courses, please click on the link in the description box. Please email me if you have questions. My email address is springsolutionsllc at gmail.com. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.